Hello everyone. I am Joy Sand and I am the Kentucky Dolly Mom. If you are one of my amazing subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. And if you would like to become one of my amazing subscribers, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. I want to welcome, welcome everyone. You guys are my Dolly family. And if you've not been adopted into my Dolly family yet, it is so easy to be adopted. Just click on that subscribe button and join my amazing, amazing Dolly family. I want to welcome, welcome everyone, and I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. We are still pouring down rain here. Been raining all week. I think for almost a whole week now. But anyway, uh, this is, guys, I thought I had a pretty big, pretty good, nice size wardrobe for my dolls until I met the beautiful and sweet, sweet Yvonne and having you on. And she sometimes makes me have to really work hard. <laughs> but I love her. And she is such a sweetheart. She does the theme for Thursday. And if you haven't discovered Yvonne yet at having you on, please go check her out. She will either be in the description or in the title. And she makes it very easy. She really does. It just goes to show you guys, I don't have as much as I thought I did. Um, but this week's theme Thursday uh, is uh, winter or uh, I think like snowsuit, um, like bundling them up. So today I've got Braxton back here. She's still dressed for pink. On Wednesdays we wear pink. Um, but uh, I honestly don't have anything <laughs> for theme Thursday. But Yvonne is battling a cold. Yvonne is very sick, doesn't feel well at all. But because she loves her Dolly family, she is very dedicated to the doll community. She gave us a theme for this Thursday, even though she was feeling so bad. And I want to wish speedy health and recovery to you, Yvonne, if you're watching. I love you, girl, uh, and I do hope you're feeling better. And I appreciate you so very much for coming up with these themes and being such a sweetheart. You are such a sweet, sweet girl. And um, I'm also going to be doing a tag, a winery, hashtag winery tag, uh, that is hosted by the lovely Tamara over at Once Upon a Nursery. And she has given us uh, let's see, six questions plus a bonus question. So I thought that I would do the only thing I could do <laughs> for Theme Thursday with my little Braxton and answer Tamara's questions uh, for the wintry uh, tag as well. So right now, what I'm going to do is pull off her little headband. I know you don't like this, but I'm going to take your little Mabel. And this is as close as I could get, guys, because I do not have a snowsuit. Uh, not even sure if I want one, <laughs> to be honest with you. I just, I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But this little fur coat, uh, for all you love animal lovers out there, it is imitation fur. No animals were hurt to make this coat but it is a fur coat it's actually reversible so it's a rainbow or i'm sorry a raincoat on the inside 
It's a size zero to three months, and I know it's going to absolutely swallow her because it doesn't even belong to her. <laughs> this actually belongs to a girl that I haven't even got yet, um, which is the Myla sculpt. Uh, Myla's a to toddler, so I am hoping that she can wear this because this means a lot to me. This was my youngest daughter's coat when she was little. She wore it at about a year old. Um, it's zero to three months, but, or I'm sorry, no, it's a six to nine months. <laughs> Give me a break, guys, please. As I said, I don't feel good either. I feel terrible myself, and I'll get it right. Three's charm, right? This is a three to six month out uh, coat. And my youngest daughter wore this from about, well, the whole winter, uh, her first year. And then I actually put it up for the second winter. And she was able to wear it for the second winter too. So it's very old. Uh, she's almost 18 now. But I love this, um, and I am definitely wanting one of my babies to be able to wear it. And right now, the only little model I've got that would even come close to being able to get this on is my Braxton. But I do know that it is going to be huge on her. But she will actually be bundled up and hope that this is satisfactory for theme Thursday. If I can get her little arm in there. She's got short arms and this is going to be, like I said, big on her. But uh, we did want to participate uh, and show love and support to Yvonne. Wishing her a speedy recovery from her cold that she's battling. I tell you, a lot of people are not feeling well this time of year uh, for one reason or another. All right, guys, I, I, my thoughts and prayers go out to all of you, and you do know that. Uh, but as a reminder, God doesn't need a specific name to know who I'm talking about. Uh, and... He hears my prayers, and each and every one of you are always, always in my thoughts and prayers. So if you can hear my voice, know that I sincerely, sincerely pray for you to be blessed, to be healthy, to be safe, to feel love, and to be happy. Uh, it's almost impossible these days to be happy, it seems like. And I always said we were the, we were responsible for our own happiness. But I have come to find out that that is not exactly true. Because no matter how much I try to be happy, <laughs> my daughter's not giving me much to work with right now. But here is... My sweet little Braxton. And it does swallow her, guys. It absolutely swallows her. But I think she is bundled up for winter. And hopefully that is going to be suffice for the theme this Thursday. And she's going to hold a polar bear with a little red bow. Now, you can't get much more wintry than a polar bear. Am I right? Yes, I think I'm right. So, please visit with little uh, Braxton Nicole while her mama does the wintry tag that is hosted by the sweetheart Tamara at Once Upon a Nursery. And I'm going to answer the questions. She's given us six questions. Uh, and a bonus. The first question is, 
and this from what i understand is not for the christmas day it's for like the entire winter um season and the question is snow or rain well i don't like snow but you know what guys it's been raining here for a week <laughs> But because I don't like snow, I'm going to still go with rain, rain. And number two is the smell. Which smell do you like? Nutmeg or cinnamon? I don't. Uh, nutmeg is okay if you're, I guess, putting it in a pumpkin pie. But I like cinnamon smell. I burn cinnamon candles. Uh, I like to take cinnamon sticks and boil them in a teapot on the stove to give that extra little cinnamony smell throughout the um, house. So I'm going to go with cinnamon. And then number three is, do you want to make a snowman or snow angels? Well, guys, I'm almost 65, so I have made a lot of both. <laughs> But, because I'm almost 65, I think if I got down on the ground to make me a snow angel, I'd never be able to get up. So, I'm going to go with make a snowman. Number four is, what do you like? Eggnog or cocoa? That is so easy because I do not like eggnog at all. So, it's definitely cocoa. All right, do you want, a, a number five is, do you want a white holiday or a sunny holiday? And I'm going to go for the sun any chance I get it. Not a big fan of snow. I do love the sun. So I'm going to go with sunny. And then number six is ice skating or sledding or both. Well, when I was younger, I enjoyed both. When we were children, we went sleigh riding every weekend. Uh, there's a park here called Iroquois Park that had the perfect hill for sleigh riding. Uh, my old body wouldn't handle sleigh riding now. <laughs> um, but I enjoyed it a lot when I was a child. But I also loved ice skating. And I actually broke my wrist ice skating at no fault of my own. I'm, go I'm going to say that. <laughs> this little boy was antagonizing everyone and going up behind everyone and kind of teasing them and playing with them and trying to get people to fall. And it was so funny because the little boy came up and he, he, uh, I, I can't even remember what he did, but he got my attention, of course. And I started to fall and I caught myself and just as I turned around to say oops you didn't get me did you I fell <laughs> down on my wrist I went and I broke my wrist but I very much enjoyed ice skating and sleigh riding uh, we would actually go on a sled but we also used an inner tube uh, some of the kids at the park even had hoods from cars. <laughs> so we had to kind of be creative when I was growing up. All right. And then our bonus question is, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, well, if you all know me by now, you know that I have always said that my Christmas is always for the children. Uh I've always went all out for Christmas, and I did it for the children. And my husband and I stopped getting Christmas gifts for each other pretty much right after the children were born because I wanted to take that money and get extra goodies for the children. So I've never really, I've been wanting to get myself a Christmas gift pretty much since I started doll collecting. Um, but to have that doll at Christmas time has never really worked out for me. Um, not to say that it won't. 
hopefully, hopefully, uh, I'll have next Christmas here to do that with. But, um, if I was going to choose something materialistic, if I was going to choose an item, it would have to be Myla. The Myla Sculpt by P. Myla, which is who will be wearing this coat when I get her. Won't be for Christmas, even though she's very priced very, very reasonably on AliExpress right now. My budget's just not there. And I've just got a lot of other things going on. So I'll eventually get her. But that is what I would love for Christmas. But even more so for Christmas, I want my family to be around that Christmas dinner table. I want my family, my son, my daughter, it would be awesome if my grandchildren could come and be around the tree to open gifts and at the Christmas dinner table. Um, and right now, my daughter says she'll be here. But she also said she'd come and help me decorate. And that's not happened yet either. So I'm not holding my breath. She did come for Thanksgiving. And I do hope and pray she comes for Christmas. But uh, I'm not even sure there'll be a tree up by Christmas. Just because, like I said, I've not been feeling well. And with the situation going on with her right now, I just can't seem to get myself in the Christmas spirit. And I actually have um, a few holiday outfits, um, not just Christmas, but a, a couple of little holiday outfits. And I've put them up somewhere, guys, and I cannot find them. Um, like I said, I've moved everything that had anything to do with the babies uh, into its own nursery now. Uh, but my holiday uh, clothes, the outfits just have not, they've not showed up yet. So I don't know what I did with them. Um, I'm actually, I'm not going to show you guys because I'm a mess, but. I am dressed for the wintering. I've got my, my PJs on and they've got snowflakes all over them. So I am dressed for the winter um, theme, but I just could not find. I, I'm pretty sure I've even got a little sleeper or something with a snowman on it. Uh, but I just haven't been able to find them and I haven't had a lot of energy to even look. So... Uh, hopefully they'll turn up before the holidays, but I'm not going to hold my breath because I really thought um, I knew right where they were, but when I went to look, they weren't there. So I don't know what we'll do. But anyway, guys, this is going to have to be it for me. Um, for today. Thank you so much for coming by and visiting us in our little corner of the world. Braxton, of course, is always so happy to see you too. And if you can't tell by that smile, we don't know what to do because that smile says it all. We love you. We pray for you. We are so very, very grateful, grateful for you and really do hope that you can be kind, you can be nice, and you be supportive to one another. Lots of stuff going on in this world, guys, and we need each other. We really need each other. Um, give God thanks. Please, please give God thanks. Because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be here in the first place. So until next time, guys, please know that I love you and I appreciate you so much. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. Please have a blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.